Some people say I have attitude, maybe I do. But I think you have to. You have to believe in yourself when no one else does, that makes you a winner right there. I don't focus on what I'm up against. I focus on my goals and I try to ignore the rest. Just believe in yourself. Even if you don't, pretend that you do and, at some point, you will. My motto is, I'm alive, so that means I can do anything. It's easy to stand back, but to move forward and take a chance, which takes a little more guts, a little more courage. So, what if you fail? At least you'll know what not to do when you try again. Life is challenging but I'm always up for a challenge. Losses have propelled me to even bigger places, so I understand the importance of losing. You can never get complacent because a loss is always around the corner. It's in any game that you're in, a business game or whatever, you can't get complacent. In my mind, I'm always the best. If I walk out on the court, and, I think the next person is better, I've already lost. If I cared deeply about what people thought of me, I probably would have never made it out of Compton, California. Of course, I want to be number one. But being happy and healthy is the most important thing. I don't have time to be negative. When you lose, you're more motivated. When you win, you fail to see your mistakes and probably no one can tell you anything. Tennis is mostly mental. Of course, you must have a lot of physical skill, but you can't play tennis well and not be a good thinker. You win or lose the match before you even go out there. I am someone who likes to stay positive. In the sports arena I would say there is nothing like training and preparation. You have to train your mind as much as your body. My goal is always the same, to keep the other player from ever scoring a point. That doesn't always happen, but that's what I try for. It's amazing when tragedy strikes, how strong you find that you are, and I'd seen other people go through horrible things. And I just thought, wow, I would be a complete mess, and then suddenly when it happens, you realize you had more strength than you knew, and it helps you to get through. Everybody's got their problems. The important thing is not to complain about it. My first job is big sister and I take that very seriously. Work out. Lead a balanced life and try to have fun. It's what you make it. Nerves are normal. You can't be cured from them unless you're a machine. I'd like to imagine that in order to beat me a person would have to play almost perfect tennis. My motto has always been that you can't say, oh, it won't happen to me. You have to say, that can happen to me. So always be aware that things can happen. As far as everyone else's opinion, I mean, if I would have thought that everyone was right, I probably wouldn't have left Compton, so I don't get too caught up on what the next person thinks. My parents always told us, you know, you have to get your education. You're not supposed to become a statistic. A win's a win, unless it is not a win, and then it's not a win. Shogun's is something you live with your whole life. The good news for me is now I know what's happening after spending years not knowing. I feel like I can get better and move on. It is very important not to think about losing. I have been recently diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease which is an ongoing medical condition that affects my energy level and causes fatigue and joint pain. Just always believe in yourself. Champions are just. It's a line I learned from Billie Jean King, 
and sometimes your dream adjusts. Be willing to adjust with it and see where your opportunities. Sometimes a door closes but a window opens, so just follow your dreams and continue. You never know where it's going to take you. To stay interested in tennis, I have to mix it up with other things. The principle of the design, the harmony, rhythm and balance are all the same with interior and fashion design. If you're not a competitor, you've just got to go home. You can never get complacent because a loss is always around the corner. The naysayers, they don't mean a thing. The thing about tennis is if you stay off for two weeks, or just for three days, you can lose your rhythm quickly. So, it's just a question of constant diligence and vigilance. I don't come to tournaments to make friends, to go to parties, to hold conversations. I come to be the best, and I'm not mean and cruel and dirty. There have been many frustrating games. I don't there's going to be another one that isn't frustrating. That happens, but that's sport. Otherwise, why would there be so much glory in victory? Everyone makes their own comments. That's how rumors get started. It wasn't like I was self-motivated. My dad started me. It was his dream before it was mine. Tennis is mostly mental. You win or lose the match before you even go out there. A lot of people say, oh, I get this high from working out. I've never felt that, maybe because I've worked out for so long it's just a norm for me to push super, super hard. I don't feel the euphoria. But at the end, when it's all done, I feel euphoric. I'm like, yes, the work is done. You just feel like a glowing feeling inside. I've always found the rain very calming. You know, growing up my you know, I came from Compton, California, and, you know, it was a place where a lot of people did come out when a lot of people stayed. So, I've been able to see the top and the bottom of life, and I think that balances you if you allow it to and if you remember where you came from. I think every single point will be important. I think more than anything, I'll just have to be able to compete better. When you're playing Serena Williams, you have to compete better than her. I got a lot of tricks from Serena just watching her. She inspired me so many times. I also got motivated by her in the early part of my career, and even now. I just have to compete better, bottom line. Serena and I have done some great career planning, and we're playing really at the peak of our tennis right now. I think tennis has been a sport where people play this insane schedule from 14 years old, so of course at 26, it's over. We've really paced ourselves. I'm not a trend person. I don't want to look to my right and see somebody in the same thing. You learn so much from your parents. We grew up in a home where we were definitely taught to be confident. I definitely give me parents a lot of credit. It's what I've trained for, from the first sketch to the fabric. Making dresses that are different from the usual style, and a lot of fun to wear. My ambition is to enjoy my life and to do exactly what I want to do. And I'll do that. I will be free. Rain is good for me. I feel like I achieve clarity actually when it rains. The longer I have to sit and wait, the clearer my game becomes to me. I don't carry a purse when I fly because I have my Hello Kitty carry-on. I'm the biggest adult supporter. We don't talk about tennis. I figure she knows what she's doing. I mean, what am I going to tell her? If you give me a short shot I will attack you. I'm not a baseliner who rallies. I try to get the point over with. 
Whoever is across the net, I want to win. Whoever that person is, that's the day I want to win. Winning once is never anyone's dream. We all want to keep winning no matter what it is, or if we retire, we all still are striving towards something, probably most of us are. I have a lot of dreams, and most of them come true these days. Sometimes, you know, once you pay your taxes and once you pay your expenses, once you've lived this life, things add up quickly. And it's easy to become a statistic. And that's something I've always tried to avoid, and I've always said, hey, not that it won't be me, that, hey, it could be me. When you step out on the court, I don't think anybody thinks about age. Because if you're out on this tour it means you deserve to be here. You've got the skill. It must mean you know how to play. When you're on top, you're on top. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.